Hello, you are listening to the OmniTalk Fast Five, brought to you in partnership with the AM Consumer and Retail Group, Firework, SPS Commerce, and Sezzle. Headline number two, Choice Market Plans. This is very, very a good segue from the last headline, too, yeah. I want to say. Headline number two, Choice Market plans to open at least five more frictionless mini Mart C stores by the end of 23. Quote, with a big ramp up in 2024, Choice Market founder and CEO Mike Fogarty said in an email to C Store Dive recently. According also to Retail Dive, the move comes on the heels of Choice Market's recent Series A funding round and just five months after Choice Market debuted its first mini Mart location on the University of Colorado Anschutz. Mm. Medical campus. I always love when I get to drop my German accent. And the first store was approximately 400 square f- was a was in approximately 400 square foot C store is open 24 hours a day and is also fully autonomous. You basically just walk out. That's the only way to shop it. There is no traditional checkout option. And I'm going to go with you first on this. one. Yeah, you, I just went to Choice Market in I, Denver a few weeks. I ago. know that's where I'm going to you first. Yeah. So my question for you is this. Are autonomous stores now not dead? Or is this a real use case with legs? This is definitely a real use case with legs. I think we're still going to see slow adoption with the larger format stores. But first of all, you will not find two better guys on this planet than Mike Fogarty and their chief operating officer, Ben Kipfer. Agreed. Ben uh, took me through the choice store in Denver and we were talking about this and, and their expansion plans. And, you know, this is how you make money on this concept. Mm -hmm. It's small format. It's fully autonomous. You don't have to worry about staffing. It's open 24-7. Like, this is the perfect use case. And this is what we're seeing a lot of early adoption and success with at stadiums, at, Mm -hmm. you know, the hospitals, at campuses. Like, this will be a really successful concept. And this is how you can quickly and easily scale. So I think this makes a ton of sense for them. Um, and I also think that it's, you know, it's going to be interesting to see where some of these other, other providers, they're working with a five for this one, but I'm <laughs> interested to see if other people kind of move in this same direction. Cause you know, that the campuses want it, you know, that developers want this for the floors of their condo buildings. Like the one that I went to in Denver, <laughs> like it's, it's got legs. A hundred percent agree. And there's another point I would make here too, that I think is really important coming off the last story and what Lakshman said too, about Amazon's ability to do physical retail. Yeah. These guys get physical retail. They're living yeah, and they breathing do. it every day. They know merchandising. They know how to sort their stores. Like you go into them, they're very captivating, very intriguing. So these guys get it. Yeah. And because of that, they have a foot up and an advantage to make a concept like this work. That's so, it's such a good point. That's like, the important thing. They source local product. Mike's whole philosophy is like have a good, better, best product option yeah. so that you are covering all the bases and the price point. I mean, it, yeah. And they're working in the stores. Like they are right. hungry. They are entrepreneurs. They yes. want to make this work. Yes. So they're going to figure it out, I think. So kudos to them. But Billy, what do you think? You're shaking your head. Looks like you're I, agreeing. I, I, I couldn't agree more with both of you on everything that you said. And I think, you know, Anne, you, you hit the thought that that you, you said the thought that for me resonated quickly um, when I was, you know, looking looking in, uh, into this before the, you know, before this, which is they figured out the right place and the right yes. size, right? Yep. This is not the size of a Target or a Walmart. This is that small footprint with, you know, concept in the right places where the, you know, you've got that right kind of traffic. And I think that's where, you know, to, to we'll bring up Amazon again, is that's where Amazon's stores, I think, maybe stub their toe a little bit is mm-hmm. they, they missed that element of it. They try to do maybe too much too soon. Mm-hmm. I, I agree with you. This, like when I saw this and, and I had never heard of Choice Market before, uh, you know, you, you know, preparing for this, and was immediately just like, wow, when is it opening near me? I want to go check this out. This is exactly what I had hoped this concept would be. Yeah. So I, I couldn't agree with you all. Nice. More. You hear that, Mike Fogarty? He wants it in Atlanta. He wants one yeah. in Atlanta. Lakshmi, what do you think? The the limited assortment, small footprint is the key here, right? Yes. Okay. And this automatically means that you have reduced the operational complexity, your operating expenses are low to kind of move the same boxes, as many boxes that you need to move through the supply chain, right? And the the act of replenishment is much more simplified. And so the end-to-end management of this is much more streamlined, if you will. And for you to deploy a technology that kind of works, we know that it works there and they're Mm -hmm. expanding it, is, is is a great way to approach this rather than, you know, looking at this as a big grocery format and struggling with economies of scale there, right? And the ROIs, 
we're seeing this convenience format uh, in and out. I mean, you look at airports, you still see a lot of, you know, people going in there. I still think at the airport, they have to reduce the assortment. Just have yeah. to have the basic skews. That's a great point, actually. Yeah, yeah. that's there, there is too much in those assortment, in right. those airport stores. You don't need like the tchotchke like stuff, you know? Yeah, it's a great yeah. point. Yeah. So I think, I think this has legs. Uh, all right, we're in unanimous agreement. Yeah, that's crazy. Like, somebody was telling us who came up to us at Shop Talk and was like, "You guys need to stop agreeing on things. Oh you yeah, might get better when you fight." So. Yeah, he was like, "Yeah, yeah." <laughs> but, so we might get to that though. We might. We might. We might. Yeah, we might. But I, I think it's funny we universally agreed on that one. Yeah. So that's cool for for choice and those guys.